Welcome back to the Ugly Thrift Store Challenge. We've done this before and we are doing it again, but this time I'm not gonna have any say in the items that are picked whatsoever. I'm just gonna be presented with some questionable items and I'm gonna have to make it work. This could truly be a challenge. This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Stay tuned to find out more. Hi guys, my name is Becky, and if you've watched our channel before, or maybe this is your first time stumbling upon this video, hi, welcome, subscribe. You probably know that we are a big fan of thrifting and upcycling things from the thrift store, plus, I love a good challenge. I love a challenge video. So today we're doing a good old fashioned thrift store challenge. We have done a concept like this before in the past and you guys really liked it, so we're doing it again. I wanna preface this by saying that <laughs> the old fashioned saying, ugly is in the eye of the beholder. <laughs> like everyone's style is different and I think everything at the thrift store has a place in someone's home. So while we might be calling some things ugly, it's all subjective and today's challenge is to take the things that people probably wouldn't necessarily buy right off the rack immediately and make them gonna be a challenge, guys. <laughs> Welcome to the Ugly Thrift Store Challenge. So we have a team here at TSG that helps make all the magic happen, and I love working with all of them for different things. So I have sent out Rachel and Andrea to the thrift store right now to go find me the things to upcycle. I think it's way more interesting if they pick them out for me than if I do, because I don't know, I could be cheating and say, this thing's really bad. But meanwhile, I have the perfect plan for it in my head. It's better this way if I don't know. So they're out right now at the thrift store. Let's catch up with them and we can reveal. Okay, <laughs> Andrea and I are going to the thrift store. We actually forgot to bring the donation pile, so we have to go back. But the good thing about the donation pile is that we'll get a coupon to use. At the thrift store, yes. Right now. <laughs> and if you're wondering what's on my face, they are pimple patches <laughs> because I have pimples. You know, I have pimples, but I just didn't cover them up today. So that's okay. I'm glad we got that out of the way. <laughs> Forgot the box of clothes. But now we have them. Now we have them. <laughs> look at the keys. That was like a perfect opportunity to say, look at all those chickens. Oh, look at all those chickens. <laughs> <laughs> Up to $50. We must spend $50. We must spend $50. <laughs> so many options. Sometimes I get overwhelmed at this place. I know, there's so much. Yeah. There's just so much opportunity, and I don't want to miss it. Ugly has no potential. Has no potential. <laughs> Ugly, but maybe a little bit of potential with the pattern. Maybe too summery. <laughs> You're right. We're going for fall. We're moving into fall. Okay, wait. Isn't this cool? Yeah. Like, actually, I could see it on you. You know, like, not with a DIY. <laughs> <laughs> We're not. <laughs> Hounds too. <laughs> oh, I love it. Me too. <laughs> Isn't it fun? Okay, wait, I, can I try it on? Yeah. We're supposed to be working right now, Rachel. <laughs> Just two seconds. Just two seconds. It's giving me mom from Mean Girls, cool mom vibes. You guys need snacks, condoms? <laughs> Let me know. God, you keep me young. God, you keep me young. <laughs> <laughs> This is ugly. Oh yeah. Like the pattern has potential maybe. Yeah. What is that? I don't know. It's Zara. Maybe it's supposed to be cute Zara, and I'm just not seeing it. <laughs> what if she made a two piece set? Even a romper or something. What if someone has this in the comments and they're gonna be like, I love it. Listen guys, <laughs> that's fine. I feel like it's an option. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think that might be an option. Yeah. Okay, I hope that was interesting for you because <laughs> no idea what they did. So, actually though, I think they're coming back right now. So, oh my God, so nervous. Hi. Hi. Okay, you got some good stuff for me? Yeah. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I need to close my eyes and then you pass me something. I'm gonna toss it to you. Oh, good. <gasps> what? Oh my God. Wait, I love leather jackets <laughs> though. <laughs> I'm immediately offended. <laughs> no, I did things that you would still wear that just need help. Really large though. 
The base is amazing. I'm a big fan of leather jackets. I think we could do something really cool with this. What? I don't know, but I'm not too stressed immediately by this yet. Okay, what do we got? <laughs> oh! oh. Uh, what are you? Oh! Oh, interesting. Yeah, that's definitely like separatable. Like, I'm trying to figure out what this reads as. Like, it's either kind of casual or it's like supposed to be elegant. It's like giving me like potato sack dress, but also like Maybe you can wear this to a wedding. It's dress up, dress down. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Multi options. Okay. That was gonna be hard. Some truly unique pieces were purchased today, I'll say that. And I think this will be a really fun challenge. I don't know what I'm gonna do, guys. I feel like there's so much opportunity and I don't wanna do the wrong thing and mess it up. I wish this was like a live stream and I could just ask you guys what I should do. <sighs> okay, I need to go think. I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. Stay tuned. Hi, welcome to my house. I felt like it was fitting to do the fashion stuff here in my closet because I have the sewing machine and it just feels like the right place, you know? So we're starting with this, if it wasn't obvious, this jacket, which, um, I think the plan is to try and make a two-piece outfit out of, out of this. This feels like something that's a little like out of my wheelhouse, but I love a good challenge, so we're here. And I actually think it might not be that bad. Here's the plan I've come up with so far, and it has to do with the fact that in the middle of this jacket, there's this string that goes through it, and I can tighten, um, like cinch the jacket, I guess. And I feel like that's the right place to separate the jacket and make it a skirt and a crop jacket. I think I can keep the string in the skirt half and then I, that lets me like make the skirt as tight as I want. Doesn't matter if the top's a bit like oversized. So I don't really know what I'm going to be dealing with until I cut it apart. So my first step is literally just going to be taking the fabric scissors and snipping it into two pieces above this waistline here and then we'll figure out our next step. I feel like this is definitely the most stressful part. <laughs> so ominous. <laughs> you close it. Yeah. <laughs> so creepy. This house is haunted. Okay. <clears throat> Smells like this All right. Piece one, which it has this lining in here that I need to deal with. I don't think I'm going to keep it. I don't know. Or at least not for the skirt, but I cut it pretty terribly, <laughs> as you can see. Oh, yeah, okay, well. First of all, the crop is great. Like, good on its own, perfect as is. Now let's see these guys. Is this a look, as the kids say? Hmm, okay, hold on. We'll do one thing at a time. I know this is good, so. What do we wanna do to this? Cause I feel like it looks too bulky as is. It's doing a lot. We kind of want the pockets. The pockets are cool, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, we've got some work to do. So I'm starting by taking out all of the lining that was on the inside. Then I'm cutting this V-shaped slice out of the back since I need it to be tighter at the top and not much tighter on the bottom. The V-shape works nicely for this. <laughs> this looks like a new item of clothing we're sewing. <laughs> Interesting. It's like a like a bra. That's yeah. not what I was thinking. It's a thong! Ow! Oh. <laughs> you <I> know? <laughs> <laughs> Although, pretty chic. That's where I went. That's for a different channel. <laughs> then I'm sewing the skirt back together, sewing what I had just cut apart. I gave myself a little bit of extra wiggle room in case I accidentally sewed it too tight. So after doing that and I decided my sew job was good, I cut off the excess fabric that I didn't need. And then since I'm fancy and wanted this to look great from the outside too, I added a top stitch on the outside to make it look clean and kind of match the rest of the stitching that's already on the piece. All right guys, here we go, moment of truth where we make sure or find out together if this fits. So far so good, and then, oh my God, yeah. That, can you see that? That fits great. And then because the top is a little looser, I left these guys here on purpose 
so we can tighten it and it should really be perfect. Definitely we need to trim those strings a little bit shorter and then we need to see it without the leggings but it's looking so promising you guys. Okay, wait, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Let's touch up that jacket part and then we can see it come together. And I also wanted the jacket to be even more cropped so I decided to take about two inches more off of the bottom. Okay, so it's looking good. I think the crop was definitely the right move. It just feels more proportionate this way. But the only thing I'm thinking now is that the back just feels really loose and floppy. <laughs> and it'd be great if I could just like add two little darts, that we'd call it, I guess so, right? Just to like bring the back in a little more like, there's a word that I'm looking for and I don't know what it is. Like cinch it? Yes! <laughs> let's, let's cinch in the back a little so it just looks more like, I don't know, tight back here. <laughs> and then I think this is pretty much done. Darts have been added to the back. It's like, unintentionally, now I feel like it looks super 80s with the V on the back and how it's kind of like bulkier at the top, but I really like it. So I think that means the jacket's done. The skirt's done. Let's style this and see how this works. It's a two piece. Okay, pieces are looking great. I'm pulling other things now to complete this whole look, but we still have one more outfit to upcycle, so we're gonna head to that one first. Stay tuned to the end where I reveal it all to you guys, and I'm gonna show it to Rachel as well. Stop! I'm actually just speechless. I feel like every time I do a sewing project with you guys, it just gets a little bit better every time, which is nice. I feel like we're very much in this together every time I do a sewing project, because I'm no expert at it. I'm learning with you, I admit when stuff goes wrong. But luckily, on that one, nothing really went wrong, which is so good. Um, and I love being with you guys on this journey of learning and creative, creating and doing new things, which speaking of learning and being creative, if you guys haven't heard of Skillshare, which is today's sponsor, you're missing out. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of awesome and inspiring classes for everyone. So if you're looking to explore new skills, deepen your knowledge and passions, or just get lost in creativity, you will love Skillshare. Their classes cover subjects like sewing, interior design, DIYing, bags, furniture, and clothing, not to mention there's film and digital production along with graphic design and marketing, plus so, so much more. Their classes are curated specifically for learning and they are launching new premium classes all the time. So not only will you not be bothered by annoying ads, you can stay focused on the task at hand and let your creativity go wherever it wants to take you. I'm personally interested in the class called The Ultimate Self-Care Playbook, Discover and Nurture Your Centered Self by Jonathan Van Ness, who you probably know from Queer Eye and Getting Curious. I really love the way this class is laid out and touches on some really important aspects of self-care, like developing a routine, releasing limiting beliefs, and of course, having that crafting moment. I'm super excited to give this class a try and maybe get a little more centered in my life. Okay, so to make this all totally worth your while, the first thousand of my subscribers to click the link in the description below will get a free one month trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today. Okay guys, we got one more DIY, so let's get to it. Okay, so <laughs> we have the dress. Um, like, yeah, it's not that bad. It surprisingly fits pretty well, but I would never wear this anywhere. So I wanna make it a little bit cooler. My initial thought is to not use the skirt part of the dress and turn this into more of like a trendy fitted corset. I think that would look really good. It's almost already there. It just needs a little bit of extra work done to it. So the things I'd love to do is add some hooks like up the front to kind of do it up like a regular corset. And then it needs to be a little bit tighter. And I'd also love to do something with the bottom shape of this so it's not so straight. It's straight here, it's straight here. It's just kind of boring. So I think it'd be cool to make it more of like a V shape thing. I think that would look really good. Actually, yeah, that does look really good. That's the plan. The question is what order I do these things in. I think we do, what do we do? Okay, I'm running out just now to pick up the hook and eye tape, which I think I've seen at the fabric store before. It's basically just the, the clips, the clasps, the, uh, the clips, yeah. It's basically just the clips that I would put on a corset, um, but instead of hand sewing them on one by one, they already come pre-made on the tape, so all you have to do is sew that on, which you'll see in a second, and it makes it so much easier. So this is what it looks like. The only thing you have to remember is that you buy the same amount of each side. I thought that it would come like as a matching pair, but it doesn't. You have to get the left side and the right side and they hook together. So just FYI, if you're picking this up yourself. 
Okay, I am back with the hook strips, and uh, my first step is going to be to cut the top off the dress and then cut that piece in half so I can add these guys on. Okay, that looks pretty good. So I've decided to sew the one side of the hook and eye to the underside of the corset. This felt like the right move at the time, but stay tuned because I, I might hate it. Okay, let's see what happened. It's pretty good. You know, the TikTok song that's like, please don't be ugly, yeah. please don't be ugly. It's not ugly! Okay, well, so far so good. Let's just see if this matches up. Okay! Yeah? yeah? I'll trim this shorter and then now I need to build the V shape, right? Yeah. And then we make it tighter last. Okay, so this is on, I haven't sewn it, but I've pinned up the V shape and the back. I don't love how the front of this looks. I feel like it just doesn't look very good. It looks like a zipper almost from far away. It just looks kind of like, I don't know, not great in my opinion. But I think this part's actually really cool, how you can see the, the clips on the outside. Mm -hmm. So what if I took it off and re-sewed it like backwards almost so there was a black line and you could see all the clips on the outside. Yeah, I think it would look more like professional. The V shape that I folded into the bottom of the top looked really good, so I'm gonna sew that into place first so it doesn't move. Okay, round two on this. <laughs> Which this, yeah, already looks so much better. Yeah, that's great. And it'll be easy because I can just sandwich it, which is probably the intended design of this thing anyways. <laughs> All right, let's try it. Okay, so close to being done. Um, I just want to fit it a little bit better, lastly, so I'm going to put it on, I think, inside out. That makes sense, right? So I can pin it. Please ignore the loose threads that are everywhere because um, it's not done yet. I think it makes sense to do it where there's already that line. Okay, the course the top is done. Let's pull some other items to style this whole outfit and move on to the reveals. Okay, it's been a couple days. I'm here with team edit of TSG. Hello. And they have assembled all the nice shots that I took of the outfits, the completed looks. Look good, guys? Looks great. <laughs> yeah. I haven't even seen it yet, but I thought it'd be fun since Rachel actually picked the items for me to upcycle. She's here in the office and I thought it'd be fun to show her and get her live reaction of what I turned the things into because I don't think she's even seen or has any idea what I was really gonna do with them. So let's, let's, let's do a reaction. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> that is not the same outfit. Becky, that looks so good. Wait, what? Oh my God, that looks so good. Get back, get back to the other thing. Yes. Oh my God, with the black. I can't believe that that's the same outfit. I love that you did a corset with it. Like I definitely would have went that route also. So great minds think alike. Snaps for Becky. Okay, wait, I'm so excited for the next one then. I'm so proud, <laughs> really impressed. Stop, no. <laughs> okay, music video girl. I'm actually just speechless. Wait, it looks so good. You made a two piece. Mm -hmm. 
Wait, you look so hot. This is dumb. <laughs> wow. Shook it. That was so good. Get over here. Thank you. I'm so impressed. <laughs> Listen, the corset was nice, but that two piece. Oh boy. You're gonna have to borrow that. I was like, we made this thing. I can't not like do the whole look, you know, and go yeah, out. You committed. Mm -hmm. I love it. Okay, well, thank you for picking pieces that were actually turned out amazing. Thank you for letting me pick pieces for you. <laughs> it's amazing that we, it's hard to keep secrets in this office, like obviously, but everybody managed. Oh, Everyone kept being like, it looks so good. I can't wait for you to see. And I'm just like, yes, same. I know, I was like, <laughs> Andrea, when are we posting TikToks? And she was like, well, I don't know, Rachel will see it. Yeah, she's like, I made six TikToks today. Do you think that's too many? And I was like, can I see them? She's like, no. no. All right, well, while I have you guys, thank you so much for watching. This was really fun. If you like this kind of challenge, let us know below and probably do it again. I think you were scouting decor stuff too that was like pretty needed help. Needed help. So we could do a decor category next. That would be fun. All right. That's all I have. Thanks Love for this. watching, guys. If you liked it, subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye, guys.